Go ahead. Answer. Marx is right on the one hand because most religions indoctrinate people and make people believe worse than that. Religion could also bring to conflict, bring to war. As you know, in, in the West, so many serious war. Japan itself, you know, the, the monks used to bring troops to fight against the, the emperor. The emperor had to move from Nara to Kyoto. That's the negative part of religion. But the, the positive part of religion is that it helps mankind spiritually, whereas philosophy or the social science cannot help. That's very, very important. And as for so socialism, one has to realize that the word socialism is mean that you care more for society. And indeed, the Sankha is even example of communism at its best, no coercion or voluntary. And the Sankha as a, a commune it helped people on socialistic scale. In my own country, if you go anywhere up country until recently, the, the temple, the Wat, and the people live together. The, the, the lay support the monks materially, and the monks teach the people to be content. I think that the best socialism, in fact, Prince Damron, the great reformer, went to the Northeast and he showed the Farah who went with him. Is this what you call socialism? In that village, people have something they satisfy. They have enough rice to eat, they have enough vegetables to cook, they have enough fish to eat and they don't need much money. They need money when they sell rice so they can buy some tools to cultivate the land. And when they have time, they, they make their own clothing and some of which is very beautiful. And they need only one beautiful piece of their life. The rest is all done by hand in the village. I think that is Socialism influenced by the teaching of the Buddha, but from the modern world, Pikku Puttathas is very well known. He preached Dhammic socialism because he feels that some country like Sri Lanka, like Burma, use the word Buddhist socialism and they betray it by becoming violent. So Ajahn Puttathas want Dhammic socialism. That is what he had seen. So system had worked around him and he wanted to bring in to show to people in the Dhammic way. And in fact, he talked to Pridi Phnom Yong, who was a great Democrat, who brought democracy to Siam in 1932. And the two of them talked four evenings together to bring Dhammic socialism at the national level. Unfortunately, Pridi was shut out of the country on a false charge of Richie's side.